Hello, hello. I'm going live today. This is Donna Dewey with a one stroke painting. And I am here on YouTube today doing a live. And in my live, I'm going to do all kinds of demos and show you how to use brushes and uh, paint a painting with y'all today. And I have new, new products. So I'm excited to share that with you. And hello, Melissa. Um, so I love to come on and share with you the things that I love with One Stroke. And on my onestroke.com site, I have so many different, um, I got this flash in here and I think that's, I don't want to talk to you, go away. It's, um, it's on the iPads where it's trying to talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. Hello, Belva and Lee and Susan. Hello, hello. Um, I am excited to show you some new new today and also receiving my box from you today. All right. Yay. Some people are very excited to get their boxes. Uh, hugs for baby Alani and spell checked and called her Alamo. And so all my girls thought I was just being dumb. And I'm like, no, <laughs> it corrected it on both my posts and put Alma, Alamo instead of Alani. That's what it is. Hey, Chrissy, Chrissy and Joanne. Hello, hello. So we're painting today, demonstrating, showing you new product. Hello, hello, Sue. Um, um, giving you a discount. So I'm just showing, I'm hoping you can read this. The printer wasn't working too well. Um, is that backwards for you guys or is that straight? I'm thinking that's straight because it looks backwards to me. So tell me, <laughs> tell me if this is right before we get going. Hi, hi. Hello, Leanne, Donna. Hello. Uh, I'm the right way. Yay. Okay. So this, um, is 20% off a $50 or larger order. So that means all anything that you can order, uh, would you get that 20% off? I just want you to know also though, it looks straight, thank you. Also, if you are a member of my One Stroke Advantage on YouTube, you get 20% off any amount that you purchase. So just by being a member each month. From South Africa, hello, hello. Tatiana. Hello. Thanks for being on. I am going to paint some wisteria today, not pumpkins. <laughs> and I'm going to use some stencils the way I use them. I love sharing with you guys the love of one stroke painting and I'm passionate about teaching. So um, hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. I'm passionate about teaching. So um, I thrive on it, if you haven't noticed. So every Wednesday uh, on my YouTube channel right here, the Donna Dewey channel, every Wednesday and every Friday, I do a little lesson with you. So on Wednesdays, I do relax and paint. It goes on at five in the morning to start your day off really good, but you can come back and paint it with me later. And then um, on Fridays, I do tutorials, little shorts, so that you can practice all week and each week you can learn something new. Uh, Myra, hello, hello from Maryland. And Lucy, hi. Uh, that cured peony was, that curved peony was beautiful that you did. Well, thank you. Um, thank you guys for being on Wisconsin, Desiree. Um, when it says you retract your messages, I don't know what that means. Spell check is a pain. Yes, because Alani kept going to Alamo and people making fun of me, like my daughters. <laughs> like, you don't get it. So this is the code for today to get 20% off anything from $50 and over, okay? Um, we also have Patreon. I wanted you to see what I painted last night on Patreon. Um, so there's all kinds of things that we're doing. I'm going to do a Santa wreath coming up. And this was last night's slow class. It's called growth classes on Patreon. So you get this, and then you get Donna's Corner where I paint. 
And any of you who want to turn this into a business, painting with a business or into a business, um, whether you're teaching or you're selling your wares, we, Mark and I do podcasts three times during the month. So you get the podcast, you get my painting lesson and Donna's Corner, and then you get the growth class, which like we painted that big painting during a couple of months. Those things are all, all of that is for a pledge of $20 a month. So you can go on anytime you want and go off anytime you want. But I have some people on Patreon that pay for the whole year because you get a greater discount. So, um, all right. It's shiny, shiny. All right. Try to do one with some shades of blue on that. A little bit of blue right on top of the body and just a, on the one side of each wing. We got some special. So I've got Julie, my buddy here, Julie Motley, who's helping me make some samples real quick. Swear to you, I got two stencils that showed up. I thought that was a super historical name. Oh, Alamo. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> but um, we opened the box at 20 minutes ago <laughs> with my two new stencils. And I can't wait to show them to you. Um, yes, Miss Julie. And so I got Julie at my dining room table. I got me right here trying to whip out some samples. So they're not going to be as nice as they would be if I was doing them with time. Okay. So, um, just a sneak peek. Look at this quick and easy five minute butterfly. That's all I'm going to show you. <laughs> I'm going to show you. Hi, Trina, uh, Trenda. Hello, hello from Mississippi. And Linda, hello, hello, Linda, Linda. Um, so I have been made fun of because I say hi to everybody like Mr. Rogers, but that's okay. We like it when you're acknowledged, right? Um, I've got splatters of paint all over me. Did you see? <laughs> so I uh, love the butterfly. Got to have that. I know. So I have a couple of different ones so you can't go away. And, and I just have to tell you, I couldn't get Michelle to say, hey, put them on the website, but I promise you they'll go on the website by tonight. So just be looking and um, make sure that um, you get them with the 20% off. You didn't say hello. They would complain about that. They complain about whatever I do. So, uh, oh, the biggest complaint is why are you selling on here? I said, uh, because that's not why we come. We come for free. And I said, It'd be nice if everything could be free, but I give you free. You could just come on every week and watch two free lessons, but then you could become a member and do more and in, more involved classes, or you could do live where you guys want to know how to find my product, how to get my product and how to save money on my product. And that's what um, the lives are about for me. And by the way, I give you a free little lesson on the live too. So, we are having hard times with Facebook and so is the paint company. So Facebook is just doing all kinds of numbers to us. So I'm coming here and I'm offering my Facebook people to come watch me on YouTube when I do my YouTube live, because we can get a clearer vision. We don't have it going on and off, hopefully. <laughs> and we're having a good time making that happen. Okay. So I've been doing all kinds of fun things this week. I got back from Tennessee and teaching 30 wonderful women in Tennessee. There are actually 34 of us there. We were having a great time. And then we got home and my husband's been very sick since we got home because of the rain and the cold here in Florida. And um, But Julie's been here, so we've been creating and having fun. So I'm going to stop talking and start sharing some fun things with you. So if you, so I can be painting. But if you are just popping on, we have about 10 people just popped on. This is the code that we're doing um, for this live. And so you can go to my website uh, and what you can do um, is that you can um, go to my website, check out the stuff I'm going to share with you today as I'm painting and um, you can get this discount. All right. So you go to onestroke.com. See that onestroke.com? And it's only good. I'm sorry the printer didn't work even with a new cartridge till the 25th, this special. So you put in when you're checking out, no matter how many times I said this last time, I said it three times. And I guess people coming on at different times didn't hear it. But please listen to me. Do not check out 
until you know the code went into the order. All right. So if you check out, I can't fix it for you. I'm sorry, but um, it goes through this process that we have nothing to do with and it takes the money out. And so we can't take care of it and say, oh, by the way, it's my first order. I'm sorry. Please, please go fix it. I can't do that. Um, <laughs> I know he's having, a, he's having a hard time and we're having a slumber party. Anyway, he doesn't want to be left out, though, because if we're making something good to eat, he's like, I, I want that, too. <laughs> so listen, um, so this is what you do when you pick out everything you want. You go to check out. There's a place for a code. So you would put 9, 10, 50, 11. Okay. 9, 10, 50, 11. All right. And then you check out. So don't check out before you put the code because you will get no discount. All right. So I mean, I feel bad when it happens, but it's been happening. So I'm just telling you, uh, please check that out. I'm also having this class tomorrow, tonight. Tonight, I don't want to freak you guys out. This is tonight at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And so I have these online classes, too, that are separate from what we're doing here. Um, if Mark is sick, that means you are probably can catch up. <laughs> I know I'm trying to stay away from him. He's sleeping in the recliner. I don't want to catch it. And it's not COVID. OK, so I was going to share it with you guys. Look real quick. The new butterfly stencil. Um but you will not believe what you get in that. And I'm going to demonstrate a couple of those too for you, all right? So let's get started. First of all, I base coat really quickly. You're going to see me base coating with my sponges. This is how they look. They're painter sponges, one-stroke painter sponges. And it makes a quick, uh, even coat, base coated on your canvas, which means I'm going to do that with a mop brush and all too. But this makes it really fast and so you can do it quickly. And then if you have raised grain on the wood, this, this edge is real rough. These are some old ones, but these are the new ones. And this right here, this edge, you can knock off all the raised grain. So these are amazing painters. I do the rounded edges when I'm doing an urn or whatever. It's the size of a brick when I'm doing a brick background. And um, this small one here is just a little bit smaller for you to use. So here they are. They're wonderful. Also, I love it when I put my fingers on it. I don't see a finger mark when I'm base coating. And you keep the paint from your fingernails because you push here to get a straight edge. All kinds of good stuff. Oh, and if you watch me, I show that along the way. All right. Also, just hot off the press. Just got in stock. We sold out four times. We had to wait for a, a, a boat from some other country that we don't like. Anyway, so here are three of my new stencil brushes. They come in a set. I'm going to be using them today. They are in stock. They just showed up um, yesterday. Okay. So we have a handful of you have them on order right now. And so they're going to be shipping out now Monday. Okay. Uh, the other thing I use a lot are these daubers. Oh, the thing that is wonderful about these stencil brushes is that they are synthetic nylon and other stencil brushes are really rough like this and they're stiff so they go under the stencil you will love these i'm telling you the people in tennessee that were using these said never use another brush again that's how amazing they are and so you want to make sure you use your brush plus to clean all these nice new brushes out um not dawn dish soap but brush plus okay so um this is eight ounce bottles that they sell we sell so they're there in stock then these are the standard brushes my 10 most used brushes most popular set of brushes i mean during the, some of the seasons plaid has to air ship them in like every week to get them in. Okay. And so I want you to know these are the 10 most used brushes that I use. These are synthetic nylon, except for the scruffy brushes. This is something I created was a natural hair scruffy. And I do lots of pouncing the centers of sunflowers, wisteria that hangs and some other wonderful stuff. All right. Teddy bears and all kinds of fun things. Hello, Karen and Elaine. Joy. Hello, DJ. Thanks for coming on, guys. Leanne, the teacup painting looks like one from, oh, it does? 
Well, this is what I created for our convention. Hello, Miss Doris. All right. So what I, and then these daubers, there's five daubers and in here. So you get three of the babies. I do lots of berries and stuff with these little guys. All right. And then this bigger one, I do eyes and owl eyes and all kinds of other stuff. Center of, of big flowers. Okay, and I really want to start painting. So I just want to show you some of the tools that I have is the double loader. So most people have a problem with, hi guys, hello from California uh, and British Columbia. All right, so this is my double loader. I made this with floaty medium goes in the middle. This cap goes on there so I can store it. This is from uh, a week ago and it's still fresh. All right, because I put this lid on it. Double loader comes with all these parts. Okay, and what you do, I am not pushing it in. What you do is you pull off the top and you dampen this and you put it in and it stays moist. I have teachers that have tried this and said it's gone 30 days and it was still fresh. All right, now then you can take it out of here. You can use a foam plate, paper plate in here as a palette. Or you can take and drop this under this one and in here and twist it and you are ready to paint. Now, any of you who've just started one stroke with me and you're having a difficult time, the biggest problem with people starting one stroke is they don't know how to load right. And so this is a double loader for all those people who are struggling and I'm going to use it today and show you how good it is. All right, so it's the most important tool besides the brushes. And then you have to use the right paint. So I'm using multi-surface paint by Plaid, the paint company, Plaid Enterprises. All right, and there's a better bottle. This is not multi-surface, sorry. There's a better bottle, okay? So multi-surface paint. We have great sets from 30-something paints to 72 paints. Super deals with the 20% off. Okay, I make double loading so much easier. Yes, it does make it so much easier. And I think about you guys. I think about uh, over all these years when people can do a rose within an hour because they have all the tools to make it easy for them. I sit back and think, oh my gosh, you know how many years it took to finally get a rose that I could teach people quick. All right, so um, then I use floating medium. We have large bottles large bottles and small bottles, eight ounce. I don't know where it is. Eight ounce. And here's a two ounce bottle. And I use it all the time because we use no water. So just letting you know, an eight ounce bottle is perfect for that. Okay. All right. So sponges, brushes, I have signature set of brushes that makes you feel perfect for Christmas. Think about this. Makes you feel like such an artist because they're pretty colors. And we shrunk, we did, um, you know, how they do a wrap on a car. We did a wrap on my, signa my signature brushes, okay? And so we have 13 brushes. Yay, yay. Come say hi. <laughs> She's got her apron on trying to. <laughs> Miss Julie. Hi. And she's certified a lot of you guys out there. So, look, there's just some of the ones that we're going to be showing you. And thank you so much, Miss Julie. <clears throat> so if you go to YouTube, Donna Dewberry Channel, Julie. You can find me. Okay. All right. All right. So these signature brushes, you get 20% off of them. I'm telling you, it's got three of the natural hair brushes. It's got a filbert, an angle. Do you know how to use those? I tell you how to use them on practice strokes. Then you get a round, an eight inch, uh, eight, number eight round. You have the flat brushes I use mostly. And you have a feather brush and a rake brush. So everything comes in there. So the so what I'm going to tell you here is, and the liners. So what I want you to know here is I have all these flats from a two to a three quarter. I have two scruffies in here and the two liners, a one and a two liner. Oh, there's Julie. She made it on. Um, hi from the villages. Hello, hello, Marilyn. And Miss Certified or Certifiable. <laughs> yes. Okay. So just let you know this. So what I really want you to know is how to do all this and how to make it fun for you. So um, I have a couple more things I want to share with you. I promise we're painting today. Um, 
I have so many newbies out there. So if you're a newbie and you want to learn how to paint and you want to get experience from one stroke, um, I just did a fall discover one stroke for beginners or I had a bunch of teachers take it so they could teach it to newbies also. But um, this was one of the projects right here. That was one of the projects that we did and we did um, note cards. All right. And so that was in October. So this new discover class is in December the 7th and 8th. So you can sign up now on onestart.com. And what you do is you click the top banner on onestart.com and it lets you sign up for $20 for both days. And what we're doing in this $20 gets you um, five little projects that we're going to do. So this is, I hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil, my little snowman. And I have glued a candlestick on here and made it a serving tray during the holidays. Okay. Um, then I... I'm going to do ornaments with you. So we're going to quick and easy ornaments for beginners. So these are sticking together. So I did a fun little wreath. And we do a cute little snow woman. All right. Teaching you how to do a cute, easy eye. And some more greenery. Now, so you're doing all five of these pieces. And you can also buy the surface kit. All right. So uh, last time we sold brushes with it, you can buy brushes separately. This is just a surface kit with paint. All right. So I just want to share that with you. And that's uh, December 7th and 8th. So you go to my website, you click at the top and it shows you all that surface, just signing up for the $20 class and more. So you're not getting a discount off a $20 class because it's already discounted. All right. Just let you know. Uh, the eighth is Mary's first birthday in heaven. Oh, Lucy. Well, maybe you could do something fun with me and be smiling to her. All right. I'm so sorry. Julie's brother died last night, too, and he was only in his 60s. So it's been kind of emotional for Julie, too. Um, so I want to share something with you. Guess what's in stock? We have this kit. So I've shown it to many of you. <laughs> we had 70 on back order because we sold out everything that Plaid had. They thought they would have enough. The paint company thought they would have enough to December 15th. And we sold it all out in September. Okay. So I want you to see you're going to get this box. It's a wooden box that stores everything. And what you're going to get is, if you've never tried this with me, it's, um, this is A to Z. This is brand new. This is my kit for the year. Let's paint kit for the year. It's A to Z florals. So this, what we're going to do is we're going to learn 50 flowers. All right. So on these 50 flowers, you're going to, each one of them, you're going to get a reusable teaching guide. All right. They're made with UV coating on them. So that's what you're going to learn to paint. And right here is your worksheet. Now, these are my actual size strokes at home with you. So you're practicing. Look, you're stroking the brush to make sure it's loaded right. And you're doing the strokes. And it's one, two, three, four. And that's actually the brush it tells you, the paint it tells you everything. But even better than this, you can go to Donna Dewberry with Plaid, the paint company on YouTube and have 50 free lessons from here. So while people have been waiting for their kits to come in because they just got restocked last week, while they were waiting for them to come in, they've been taking my 50 lessons on the YouTube site. So it's Plaid Crafts YouTube site. Look for Donna Dewberry with Plaid. There's 50 tutorials and you and I do this exact, each one of these 50 lessons with you right there on that site okay so i'm right there with you you pull out your guide and here's dogwood you pull out your guide and you do each one of them with me uh oh oh my goodness my set got paint on it it's sad all right like pansies all right really they're all stuck together don't do what donna's doing make sure so see all these wonderful flowers so pansies making it easy for you to learn. 
then in the kit, so you get that advantage. You get the wood box. You get all 50 of the guides in here. And these fit in there. These are brand new brushes. So they are, they've got a bigger handle, which makes it real comfortable for you to, the, to hold it. It's really nice. So this is a three quarter, a 12, um, a half inch scruffy. This is that natural hair. And this is an angle brush. Angle brushes make leaves and vines really easy to do. My sister who has never painted and considered herself to be untalented. Got the kit and loves it. See? See? Thank you, Teresa. So all of this fits inside your box. Even better than this is a super deal. So you got to go check it out. Even better than this. And because it's 20% off $50 or more, you get 20% off. Any other sale that we have, because this is a kit already discounted, because they're usually um, way more money than we're showing, then you're going to get, um, not get a discount on it. So if you use this and spend $50, and then you get it off. Okay. So look at this. There are 10 colors. Oops. There you go. Oop, 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 oop. 10 colors. I dropped one. That's all the paste that I use on the 50 flowers. And then you get a bottle of floating medium. So if you've ever wanted to try one strip with me, you've got the paints, the medium, the brushes, and the kit of all the 50 plus my lessons. So it's a killer deal. So go check it out. I don't know the exact cost. It's on, on our site. So please go check that out. And there you go. So that's A to Z flower painting. All right. I don't want you to miss that. A to Z flower painting. All right, so I am going to uh, start painting, but before I do, I thought I would show you. I couldn't be happy with just one guide. All right, so I had to do, I mean, stencil. So this stencil, I don't know if you can see, this stencil has big and small of the same, uh, look how big this flower is. Um, butterfly see the really big one and then it's got a smaller one and then we've got a big one and a smaller one and we have a big one and a smaller one and a side view all right so i'm going to show you these are just a couple of those that i did really quick and i'm telling you no time and i put dragonfly glaze on them so i didn't get to make them super pretty but i want you to see those are just a few that's not the biggest one either all right, so see how big this is? Look at this with my hand, all right, big. So most people tell me, Donna, please do, that they know how to shade because I make it pretty shading. And then I lay the stencil on top and get some of the black lines, or you can do the black lines with me. But mostly they said they couldn't get the shade. So what you do with this is I, I'm going to show you that you can just use a pencil just to get your shape, and or you can do all that detail on there. All right, so that one was this one. All right, so that's the big, um, I I'm going to show you how I do the steps. So I stencil it, and then I color it all in because I know where every section is going to be. And then I stencil the black on top. But a lot of us take a liner and paint on top black. But this one I just stenciled. But other than that, you can draw it with a pencil, just so you know. Now, then Julie did, this other stencil has different side views, all right, and also dragonflies, all right, so she put all the iridescent on here, I don't know if you can see it, but that's that dragonfly glaze right there on the dragonflies, so it makes it really nice, all right, so here's that stencil, all right, look how big, really big, because I have done a couple of things on uh, a couple of butterfly designs on uh, relax and paint where I did a butterfly this big, really big. All right. So that big or that big. All right. This is a monarch. And then this one. So then I do this one right here. That's the side like this wings up. And so we shadow back here. So it looks like it's coming towards you. And then my dragonfly, this is my stellar dragonfly. All right. And then um, then look at these side views. I wanted you to have different side views. This is the large. That's the small. OK, this is the large. That's the small. 
So it shows you all the different ones. So each one of those are two separate. Mark said I can only do one. So you guys got to help me because <laughs> I did both. <laughs> so if you like this, thumbs up, guys. That tells YouTube that you like me being on. So I just want you to know that these are not on yet because I didn't get Michelle on the phone. But we will have them on later tonight. So if you want these two, one has butterflies and dragonflies. One has the monarch and some side views, okay? And I'm going to be doing lots of samples for you to see in the future. And today I'm going to put a bumblebee that's also another one of my stencils. And I'm going to put it on our project. So I promise right now, right? I did everything showing you this is on fabric. You can use our fabric paints and paints. Uh, with this fabric and see all those leaves around there that is from another one of my stencils so that my stencils are made so that you guys can um, easily put it on as a background and and be able to do a 12 by 12 these are little butterflies that are on there but that's a wreath and so I took this and went around and added some of those extra leaves in there with this. So you can use stencils any way. I just like to share with you that you can make it quick and easy. All right. So look, here is that exact stencil. And then I just moved around and added a few more leaves. All right. So there it is for spring. I've used it for Christmas and we put ornaments. I used it for fall and we put a pumpkin in the middle. So this wreath stencil is one of my most popular. OK, because most people, when they're starting out, aren't sure where to place leaves. So this makes it really easy for you. OK, and don't go away. Some of you are going to take this class with me tonight. Right. We did this at convention and we will be doing that tonight. This is the other one we did at convention that people want to do next. All right. And so those are called Zoom classes. So just for you guys to know. All right. So I am going to do some fun little stenciling on some, oh, are they? Wisteria. Wisteria. On a 12 by 12 canvas. And then you can't fuss at me because I will be teaching. <laughs> I do get fussed at by a lot of people, <laughs> not just painters. <laughs> so family and <laughs> yes, I want to do that teapot class. Sign me up. Okay. <laughs> I won't remember that. So get with me later. Does anyone have the spinning circle? What's that? I'm not sure. The um all right, this would be great for making cards. Yes. All right. So you can also at that winter uh, discover one stroke winter class. All of those could be on greeting cards and not just wood ornaments, but we're doing ornaments. I just want you to know I'm going to have a special party for all of you who follow me um, on YouTube. If you're a member of YouTube, if you're um, do any of online classes over the year with me. Um, if you're a Patreon member, we're going to have an ornament class. Where is it? Um, oh, that's November. It's December. We're going to do this. We have a party. We uh, It's a PJ party. Uh, so it is when? So the Discover classes of the 7th and 8th. Um, then we have a PJ party. The 12th of December is Tuesday, the 12th at 8 p.m. at night. It's a Zoom class. We can see each other. Um, and so everybody who is following me and a follower who wants to get this code, we will send you the Zoom code and everybody can join me. All right. But it's for all those who follow me during this year in any way. So that's a good thing. And then we also have a private secret party, secret project party on the 14th at 5 p.m. And it's a two hour class with giveaways and stuff. And it's $35 and that's on the 14th. Uh, the 12th is free to all those who follow me either on YouTube or Patreon or Zoom classes. Okay. So it, that's your annual party that we have. 
and we record it and it's fun. So, all right. So I'm going to start painting. Uh, you're so late. Not really, Miss Honeycut. You're not too late because I'm just starting to paint. So it's a good time. All right. And wrong way, Donna. There we go. Oops. But guess what? I'm upside down. We'll work it out. All right. So we are going to, hello, flip around. There we go. And I got a mess over there, but it's going to be worth it. All right. So what I'm going to do first is we are going to take our mop brushes. This is new. We have mop brushes, new baby rake brushes. There's two rake brushes in the set. Um, I think these are like $13 and these are like $19 for the two pieces. Two pieces. This other rake brush, I don't have right here, um, is for those. We have a rake brush in my set, but this is for little stuff like ornaments and all. Just let you know, they're brand new. Miss Paula McCoy made these for me. And so I'm excited to share with you how to use them. All right. So normally I would base coat my whole piece with a sponge, but I wanted a watercolor look. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dampen my brush and I'm going to pick up a little bit of green. Okay. So I've got sap here or you can use thicket. All right. So oops. Why is this canvas? I mean, let me take and use my sponge because um, there's something keeping it from, from, it looks like it's beating up. So I want a watercolor effect. Am I, am I right-handed? Are you backwards? Okay. <laughs> yeah, is this right-handed for y'all? All right. All right. I think I'm right-handed now. Don't tell me if I'm not. All right. Yeah, thank you for the hearts. All right. So I'm going to pick up some medium, pick up. All right. Now what I use is my foam plate. Where's my foam plate? Excuse me. I've been really busy before I got on trying to get ready for you guys with, with all kinds of fun things I'm showing you. I don't want that citrus. I want more of a sap, okay? All right. So I'm going to take some medium, floating medium. So look, I'll just put a little bit of white now, when I'm doing this, what I like to do is do the edges right down, okay, all the way around the edges with your sponge. And what you're going to like is this dries faster with a sponge than if you were base cutting. And there's fibers in the fabric of the canvas. Uh, a lot of buffering. Do y'all have buffering going on? We usually don't have that going on here. Huh. I'm sorry, Ken. I don't know why that would happen. Are you guys okay or is it buffering? Hello, Miss Gabby. Okay, so let's see what's going to be next. All right, so you can use your sponge. All right. And I also have the mop brush where we can add different colors. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of the sap and a little bit of licorice. And what I want to do, okay, I have to ask Julie what she washed this with. I wonder if that's why. Okay, so I'm going to put a dark bit right through here. Okay. A little bit, I'm going to tap in there. Okay, so what happens with this mop brush is it can give you a nice watercolor fill. And let's put this on here, floating medium and a little bit of licorice. And we want it to, to mute down, okay. Okay, a little bit more. 
Okay, so all those trees I was doing last night that I was showing some of you guys, all those trees, I used this mop brush, not the scrappy, but the mop brush, and we accomplished all this. See all those back there, those up here, those in here. All of that happened with the mop brush instead of the scruffy, okay? That was last night, if you remember Patreon. And we go we go slow on Patreon classes, really, really slow. And you pledge $20 for the month and you get two lessons and more, okay? So now I'm going to, that's all I'm going to use this for, right? All right, but I just want you to see, I have a new tool. I love tools. I was a new tool, new name queen and tool queen on the shopping channel always. And I always had my tools sold the best. This is a heat pen that we, um, they are going to be in stock this week. All right. And so listen, I can still teach and heat this all up. And I know different people have heat pens from scrapbooking or whatever, but I love how quiet this is. And that's what everybody said. It was a really nice, quiet product, okay? So what happens is I can heat this up. Oh, <laughs> Julie slipped in and scared me. Look, she did another butterfly. That's that big butterfly. Isn't that fun? All right, so there's a dragonfly glaze. It comes in different colors. So that's so fun. Now you need to be doing your gnome and can show them the gnome you're painting. Huh? <laughs> there's a kind of person you can do. Okay, guys. All right, so I'm going to turn this off. And then what's going to happen, um, well, I have different stencils I want to show you that are fun to put back here. All right, so there is, there's this, this one right here, small and large. All right, so I want you to see that we are going, so let's have some hanging here. Okay, so I'm going to take my big 20 inch, it's not 20 inch, my number 20. And see, you only put paint at the tip of it, okay? And it's big and easy to handle. And when I've got a big surface like that, I like to use this. So I am going to add some white to my sap. And I'm going to move it around, move it around, move it around in circles on the paper towel. And then I'm going to come right in here and go left and right. Now, what this is going to do is make some fillers in the background. Can you see that? Now, I can use some medium and get it thinner so it's see-through and not so solid. Okay, so look, I like to fade it. So, so look how that's more faded and we have branches now the 20 by 20 is oh my gosh this is a 12 by 12 canvas this is a number 20 stencil brush synthetic nylon the thing is there's three sizes see these three sizes i have a 12 a 16 and a 20 I try to keep the paint off here, but I've been too busy. Now the little ones, I can you can just do this and it won't touch the other part that you don't want to be that color. All right. So I just want you to see that I'm going left and right now. The other thing I like to do is I like to use metallics to do these. All right, really fun metallics. All right, so see how that's going to be in there in the background. This is called cherry blossoms and it comes 12 by 12. And somewhere in here, I have the little small one that is a six by six, which is smaller, smaller. And then I have, all right, I'm looking. All right, so this comes like this when you're looking. All right, cherry blossom. All right, then I had script here. I just, 
Okay, don't give up on me. Oh, here it is. Here's the script. I also love these where I put a little bit of damask off the side. All right, so if I do some script in here, let me show you that I can use, um, let's put some green or gold, okay? Or, or, <laughs> or rose gold, okay? So this is what I want to show you. I can come right in here. Oops, I turned that upside down. All right, so I'm going to pick up the rose gold. I use the inside of the lid usually. And I'm going to go back and forth to take it off. This is a key. Take it off before you touch here. Um, Buffering is off and on. Nobody else has said that, Kim. I wonder if, if you don't have a good connection there. Okay, so I'm going to go left and right. No matter what. If something like that happens, just understand when you go back and watch it online, it, it uh, doesn't show the buffering because we had that problem all the time on Facebook. Okay, so I want you to see that I can go like that and just have it here and there. So I just want to fade it and just have a little bit. All right, so it's just a little bit of writing. I can go right up here. You could take this down, which would be smarter than me letting it go everywhere. Okay, so we just put some here. All right, so you put little bits of gold here and there. Can you demonstrate the pine cone stencil one day? Yes, I will. I will, sweetie. All right, so that's that. I do also, one of my favorites to use on something like this is my Paris stencil because it has all kinds of fun uh, words and stuff that you can put on here. Postage stamps, just different words like Paris right here. And we're going to do some purple. So let me just put a little bit. And what's nice is this is a small, this is number 16 brush. And I can take and put that in there. See how easy it makes that. And I do have other ones that you will really love, the birds on a branch, because I did big and small. And this literally, it shows all the separation of the head, the wings, the body. So you can do that really quick. I did these on fabric a lot. I also have books, so you can stack books. And I have... Um, I have, I looked at the wrong clock. I think class was supposed to start. These are jars and bottles. All right, so those are just some of Donna Dewberry ones, okay? And I want you to see before I finally do my, my um, flowers, I want to show you one more thing. Now I've showed you, if you just came on, because some people just came on, I have brand new stencils. I also have buffalo plaid that I use during Easter time, during fall, and during a lot of Christmas. And so that's the big buffalo plaid. I do backgrounds with that, or I do stripe across with a smaller buffalo plaid. So I put a stripe of this and I put some and with a, a muted background. And then I put Merry Christmas on top of it. Or I put the truck and the Merry Christmas. The truck I did all um, a soft green. And then I put red on top, Merry Christmas. And then this is a cabin that I use a lot. Because if you stencil this and you do these green, then you come back and, and you see where the green is. So it's easier to paint the trees and a red barn. And then all this in here gets white with a little bit of blue. And so does this the smoke. But then you take the stencil and lay it back on when that's dry. And if you stencil all this white, it's got snow on all the Christmas trees. So I use stencils different than traditional stencils are used for. Okay, just to let you know. And I want to show you this B I'm going to put on here. Okay, so the bumblebee, you can have it flying down or I wonder if I just put it put it right here. Okay, so I'm going to have it right on the edge. So this is how the butterfly's done. 
because you know, we probably won't have time to do the butterfly. So I'm going to just go ahead and do the B. And so I'm going to take and put yellow. Oops, this isn't really yellow, but you can see. All right, so see where the yellow is? All right, so then I'm going to use my other brush and I'm going to use white. Okay, I'm going to rub it in the paper towel and I'm going to put just the wing white. All right, so I'm going to brush it down, put white right here. Okay, now when you lift it off, there's two, two different things, two steps. This step is actually three steps. So this step, I can just paint this all white. And then you could put that dragonfly glaze on it. So it sparkles if you want, or you don't have to. All right, so see, I'm making this all white, or you could leave it like it was. All right, now what happens in here is we're going to put the yellow because see where that is? It's going to be black when we're done. So the deal is I'm going to come in here and make this because you see the body now. And we're going to make it yellow. Okay, now what I like to do is maybe put a little bit of orange or asphaltum or some pretty little color in here to give the bee. Um, shading. All right. So now I'm going to get my stencils washed out because they're sitting out here with paint on them. I cover them with a paper towel so it won't hurt them. But so I'm going to dry this really quick. And while I'm doing that, if y'all want to paint some Mysterio with me, then you want to get some Violet Pansy and some Violet Pansy. And I want some dioxazine purple. And I've got stuff everywhere, so hopefully. There we are. Dioxazine purple and what's the white. Okay, so that's pretty dry. Now, this is what's going to happen. You lay this right back over here. So I'm lining up my wings and my body. Okay, so now. I shouldn't have, but I did. I put this in the paper and in the water to here. I got another one. I'll bring in a new one. All right, you just have to dry it. You can't be wet. Okay. So then I'm gonna go right here. Oops. Where am I? Okay. Sorry. I'm too small here. Okay. Sorry, what did I do? I moved it over. Can y'all see me big or no? Uh, oh, come on. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm good. Okay. I just can't see, so I'm going to come down a little bit. All right. As long as y'all can see, I'm okay. Can y'all see me? Yep. Okay. So watch this. I'm going to make circles right here. I'm doing the antennas and the legs. I'm going left and right. I'm going to see. I don't have, I usually have to put my finger on the wing. I don't have to, to get these legs because this is a small stencil brush. Look at that. All right, I'm going to brush the wings, brush, brush, okay, and then I'm going to finish this, a little bit more licorice, wipe it off, and come right here, tap, 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 that might help you, okay, ready, perfect little bumblebee. All right, so this is how my butterflies do too. See how simple that is? All right. I have some of your stencils from QC. Oh, in the 90s, big wall ones. Yeah, we look for some of those to make patterns from them. Okay, so 
All right, so now what I'm going to do is we're going to paint. So I need um, the stencils and ideas here, make it really nice. <coughs> and so I'm going to have some branches out here. So I'm going to take, I just want you to see that you can use an angle brush. And I wet it, lay it on the paper towel. I'm going to pick up white and asphaltum. All right. Usually I take and I pick up and split in the double loader so you can load it in there. And I, I should have put it over in this other double loader. All right. I'll put the new colors over there. All right. So a little bit of floating medium and we work it in. All right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to come across here. And this point will help you get little teeny branches. All right. And we're going to come right off this. We're going to have a little branch down here. This is asphaltum. It's not a multi-surface. It's a, another um, acrylic color by plaid, but we love it for all kinds of fun reasons. Okay, so. Hmm. All right. Hmm. I can't get this big like I want it. All right. I'm sorry. Okay. So I'm going to open it back up. Okay. So we want it to be full screen. That's what I want it to be. <gasps> Yay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't see what I'm doing. It doesn't make me happy. Hi, Miss Pam. I'm excited to see you for Thanksgiving. All right, so see, we can come make really thin because when we're doing this, we've got a double loaded, but we're just using the toe. All right, so I'm gonna pick up some white and some asphaltum and we're gonna have wisteria that hangs right down here. We're gonna have one that hangs right down here. I see all this other stuff that I did in the background just gives you interesting um, fun things to look at in your painting. All right. Now, that was the angle brush. Now I'm going to get a 12 and I'm going to come in here. Let's put this to the side. Let's choose. This is inside the, the palette. Can you see this? And the palette helps you do all of this. It's got floating medium. I'm going to put out my purples now. Oops, oops, oops. All right, so we're going to do Violet Pansy. We have, I'm going to put some white next to it. There's white over there. That's Juneberry. So I put white in here. Okay. And then I'm going to put Dioxazine Purple, which is a lot darker. Uh, darker. Okay. Now, I will tap it so it spreads out. I will get a couple of greens in here. So uh, here's a thicket because we want a little bit more muted. All right. And we can dip in the white. So I'm going to show you how that works. For instance, I'm going to come over here and dip white and side load the green. So then I can see how that's looking right here with some medium. Okay. So we get some... That uh, thicket. See, I'm moving it over so that it's easy to pick up. Okay, so what's going to happen is some of this in here, I already put some of that down there because it makes it easier for you. And we're going to come and follow that look that I want by doing these little tips. Can you see that? And up, down, up and down. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'll do a big one right here so you can see. All right. So right in here, we're going to wiggle it out to the point. But look, I start with a V and make it to a Y. 
let me do, let me do that with the white so you see it. Here's the white. Can you see that Y? Not really. There we go. We have one there. We're going to have a couple up here. And then we'll have some underneath here a little bit. Um, there are a couple leaves that are a little bit different. Okay. So look, I'm going to start here. I'm going to wiggle out and then come back into the middle. Wiggle out and come back in and wiggle down. Okay. So then we pick up a little bit more. Please, if you just got on, go back and re replay so you can see all the new products I was showing you. And the discount codes, if you didn't get it, be sure not to check it out till you use the discount code. Um, and here's the code just to let you guys see. 9, 10, 50, 11. And on onestore.com, you get 20% on $50 or more order. All right. And I've shown all kinds of products for today for you to check out all the stencils that I create myself, my brush line. And we have all these beautiful paint kits and more. Okay. And A to Z paint kits finally in stock. And we have plenty for you. Anybody who's interested, please check out the 50 different flowers and the A to Z. All right, so we're going to come over there and see we're just putting a few of these leaves that go out in, out in, and then down. Can you see that's one half of it? You could go like this. You can do one, then you can do another one, and then you can come down here, whatever is easier for you, okay? All right, and then this, this um, floating medium with the thicket, what you can see sometimes is there there's leaves like this. If you come that long here, that just little flat leaves to the side, and I they're kind of watercolor effect. There you go. All right. And then we go to the tab. So it's kind of another green leaf. Unfortunately, I have to go to work. Sorry, Tony, but I'm here. Uh, you can come back anytime and watch it, okay? And still get the discount to the 25th. All right. So we have little teeny leaves coming down. All right. This is kind of like a vine um, looking spray. A little bit like fir fern, but it's not really. It's just a little uh, spray of leaves, okay? So let's start doing some wisteria, okay? Um, you can come all in here and do some long leaves. And I even like to have some purple in these leaves. You'll see that, a little bit of purple. And some of the stenciling I did, some of the stenciling can be purple too. But Thicket and Violet Pansy. All right, so. All right. See how they just really add to the color. All right. These wings need some more shading around them. And so I'm going to get a teeny bit. So we can come all the way up. All right, and we can go all the way up here. There. Okay. Now the fun thing about these bee stencils and butterfly stencils is that you just come here and you can do a little glow on here and a little bit on the legs. But look, perfect little legs. Perfect. Look how nice and detailed. That's how the um, butterflies are too. Just waiting for the teacup class to start. How pretty is this? Well, it's going to start and 
45 minutes. All I have to do is put some um, little blossoms in here and we're done for today. So these are the two new stencils. We have all kinds of butterflies and dragonflies, side views, big and little, the same, the same butterfly, side views, and dragonflies on this one. All right, and on this one, just coming on, this is great. All right, so I have big a monarchs, a size down from a monarch, and then we have the, this flower with a small one, this flower, this butterfly with that butterfly, this one with that one. So check them out. They're like my bee butterflies. They're really fun to use. Okay, we did all kinds with dragonfly glaze. All right, and um, I had one little wood. This is the best one I did so far, but we only got it 20 minutes before class started. So I just got to play with it for the first time. Okay, so let's do the, uh, the flowers. This is wisteria. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do at the top, see these long guys here? The first thing I'm going to do is push. So I'm going to double load right here. I split the brush and I come here and work it in. And on this 12, you shouldn't need medium because you should have enough paint on here that you're able to do it without adding medium because we have enough paint, right? So we're going to come in here. Okay, so that's the top. All right, they kind of look like snapdragons or peas, you know, sweet peas. So you're going to do these top with the white out. Okay. And I can also come in here and have some, or just this white showing because they're up underneath some other leaves. See, let's put it right between under here, under this leaf. Okay. All right. Now, what we want to do is we're going to slowly start adding darker purple. So I'm going to go between the violet pansy and dioxazine purple, which is really rich and really dark. Okay. So see the stem that's hanging here? We're going to come in here, violet pansy and dioxazine purple. And we're going to make these, add a teeny bit of white to the violet pansy. And then as we get down here, as we go down more, you'll have a little bit of that, but you'll have this really dark purple, dioxazine purple. See how rich it is? It's going to hang down. And so then that word looks good with that purple in there. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit more white on this. So we're just going to have a little bit of each. See, I'm going to have this color come down as, with a little bit of white, violet pansy, and dioxazine. So as I'm coming in here, see, it's got lighter tones. So I can come back in here and add a little bit of lighter too. Let's pick up a little bit more. You see, then it got darker and darker. Now, so Violet Pansy, I'm splitting the two colors and then you get them flat here without splitting. All right. So I'm going to come in here with dark, dark dioxazine. So that's a sweet pea looking at the top. And then this is dark purple down here. Isn't that kind of pretty? All right, this is underneath, so we would see a little bit coming underneath that leaf from here. Okay. 
So I'm going to just put some more white. And we can do the same thing up here. A little bit of blossoms just starting. This is hanging from a tree or a bush. I think they were on the tree, kind of. So we need more white. With the pretty leaves underneath. Okay. So the thing is, we can make this really fun where you're only doing a couple of special blossoms and the rest is a fun background. Isn't that kind of fun and easy? I, as you can see, that wasn't difficult, but I would like, I wish these were a little bit faded instead of so concentrated. And so it would be really light and watercoloring in the background. But I can also come in here with a little bit of thicket. And I can just do a little leaves here. See, with a little bit of purple. With floating medium and the, the thicket, you're going to get these nice colors. Okay. And even pull a stem into those too. All right. See how a little bit of purple's in there? So that's just your leftover paint and you're getting that watercolor effect just by using a floating medium. Isn't that kind of fun? So did y'all learn anything? I hope so. We got lots of purple, green. The bumblebee makes a uh, a statement in here. The stencils with the cherry blossoms just gave you a good look in the background. And there we go. So I'll put a picture up so you guys can see and you're going to sign it. Thanks for being part of my life today. I hope I shared product, how to use the product a little bit. Um, I go slower on uh, relax and paint when I show you how to stencil or whatever that I'm showing you I take more time on relax and paint so then you can go practice with me and learn how to do it I've done this B on there so you can watch that over and I will do my butterflies too coming up so I was just telling everybody the butterflies aren't up until I can get a hold of Michelle so if you want to make an order you might even wait till tomorrow morning to make sure that everything is up. Everything's on. Oh, darn it, darn it. The one thing I needed to show you. Oh, oh, oh. Let me show you. This is a special that you can get on there. All right. These are new wood surfaces I have on my site. Okay. And so go under surfaces. And we have a whole line of really special surfaces at a great price. Because then you get your 20% off. All right. This has a, a hanger. Can you see it? A hanger and this hanger. All right. And we have this one, which is wonderful because you can make it this way or this way. All right. You just unscrew that and screw it to the other end. And this is what I did. This is under wood surfaces. This is under surfaces. And then you go there and we have a whole line of them. They, uh, Michelle just put them up for me. And then we have a combo, a Christmas combo packet. So you're going to get these on this ornament, which is what I put on there with treasure gold. All right. And so these ornaments are quick and easy. You can do any color. It's so much fun. And then where do I find Relax and Paint? Relax and Paint is on the Donna G. Berry channel, which you're on right now. So it's a YouTube channel and it's the Donna Dewberry channel. Okay. And every week I put in the, I, there's probably 300 there right now, right here on YouTube. So yeah. All right. And here is the big one. So these two patterns and step-by-step -step and all is right there. This is the silver treasure gold or platinum, I think. Uh, we pretty nearly 12 o'clock here. Oh, okay. So there they are. 
you can do a ton of stuff on this surface i love you can paint a wreath in here whatever and then this but this is a combo christmas combo packet that's got both of these in it all the step by steps it was a special order convention and it's right up there now so it's 28.95 with all the step by steps patterns and everything or you use a 20 percent off and you're going to get it for way less all right so thank you so much and i will see you later a few of you i will see you in a few minutes okay for our class thank you so much bye bye